The HomePod Mini was released in 2020. Is it still a viable smart speaker in 2023? In this video, we are going to take a look at the HomePod Mini, talk about its features, and some of the new things that Apple has unlocked in it in 2023. In November of 2020, Apple released the HomePod Mini as a smaller and less expensive version of the full-size HomePod. It originally came in space gray and white, but now you can also get it in orange, blue, and yellow. In 2023, the HomePod Mini retails for $100, and the new second-generation HomePod comes in right at $300. The HomePod Mini has great full sound, especially for measuring only 4 inches in diameter. For an improved listening experience, you can also set it up as a stereo pair with another HomePod Mini for louder volume and a more immersive soundstage. In the box, we find the HomePod with a non-detachable USB-C cable and a 20-watt USB-C adapter. The HomePod Mini is very easy to set up with an Apple device running iOS 14 or iPad OS 14 or later. All you have to do is plug it in and bring your iPhone or iPad nearby. A pop-up will appear on your screen and you just follow the directions that Apple gives you. Setup usually takes a few minutes as you assign it a name, put it in a room, and go through some of the other tutorials Apple has. The HomePod Mini is all about Siri and AirPlay and other HomeKit automations. You can ask Siri to play music for you, ask Siri questions, you can airplay music to the HomePod Mini, play music on your phone, and then hand off music through the U1 chip, and so much more. In January 2023, Apple announced that the HomePod Mini actually had temperature and humidity sensors built in the whole time, and they unlocked those to be used for smart home purposes. The HomePod Mini has also received Thread and Matter certification and new sound recognition so that it can listen for smoke or carbon monoxide alarms. If it hears one of those, it'll send a notification to your phone. You can also use the HomePod Minis as intercoms through your house. Another cool thing I've discovered is that Leviton's dual USB-C receptacle can power a HomePod Mini as long as you don't plug a device into the second port. At $100, the HomePod Minis are a premium price compared to Amazon Echo Dots, but they sound better. If you do a stereo pair, then the sound quality and volume goes up even higher. In comparison to the full-size HomePod, they're not as loud or as full, but by themselves you will still be surprised by the amount of low end and clarity they have. If you compare a set of stereo HomePod Minis to one full-size HomePod, the full-size still wins in volume and overall tone, but two Minis would be a more affordable purchase. At $100, they are much cheaper than the full-size HomePod, and though they are more expensive than an Echo Dot, they offer the premium Apple user experience and look that people desire. I highly recommend picking up a HomePod Mini to test out and see what you think. Once you hear the audio quality and start using AirPlay and Siri, you'll find yourself wanting to put these in every room of your house. Thanks for watching this video. If you found value in this content, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel as I have plenty more smart home technology coming in to unbox and review.